In a world where industrial automation labs run on old equipment, one school rises above with a custom-built mechatronics paradise. Next on Elevate Iowa, Professor Ben Foley builds the lab of the future. Welcome to the new Iowa. Elevated past old notions of manufacturing. Where manufacturing is exciting, clean, and a career worth talking about. The Iowa Advanced Manufacturing Grant paid for the state's 15 community colleges to focus on manufacturing in new and meaningful ways. And these are their stories. When I came on board with Kirkwood, um, you know, I had a conversation with the dean and I ultimately said, you know, more than willing to teach the more automation oriented content that they had currently embedded into the uh, maintenance curriculum. But I really thought there was holes to be filled within the automation side of education throughout the state itself. So I had voiced interest in that and then this grant became available and uh, literally like I think it went down um, a lot of equipment that we had is not unlike a lot of equipment other colleges had where honestly it was hand-me-downs from industry, which is great that companies are willing to do that. Um, the downside of that is we're getting it for a reason. We're getting it because they are upgrading it. It's already yesterday's news. Kirkwood stands in a region where manufacturers need maintenance workers with a wide variety of skills. To maintain and upgrade the machinery in area factories, the labor force must be equipped with modern knowledge and skills. Companies like ESCO, a systems integrator, and General Mills, the renowned food manufacturer, rely on Kirkwood for skilled talent. Typically what we would do is work with you know, a, a factory, some sort of industry, in order to uh, automate their processes or to provide data for them. We don't actually make things, but we make things that make things. We produce cereal, frosting, and fruit snacks in the plant. Um, we've got three different departments and material handling, so we do everything from service and fork trucks to uh, maintaining packaging equipment, maintaining processing equipment, uh, bulk unloading equipment, uh, all the things it takes to bring ingredients in and ship finished product packages out. Um, most of our equipment is high-speed packaging equipment, so uh, we're doing anywhere from 200 pieces per minute up to, I think our highest speed equipment is just under 500 pieces a minute. So that's the type of equipment that we're working on. We want to bring in somebody that understands the mechanical part of it and understands pneumatics, hydraulics, uh, powertrain systems, things of that nature. Wouldn't necessarily have to be a subject matter expert in all of them, but have a basic understanding of what those are. And don't get me wrong, it's not that we don't have pipe fitters and, and contractors that support those types of things. We don't do our electrical runs for major projects, things of that nature. We have contractors like ESCO and Blonick and Modern Piping that do those types of things or help us with those types of things. If our client has you know, some specific technology that uh, they need help with, then that's where I would step in and identify people to actually learn those technologies and also uh, identify how we're going to train people in those technologies and then do uh, peer assessments. Actually, I started my education at a community college with a similar program and it was a lot smaller. And I was impressed at the time with the hardware that they had. And then I saw Ben's lab and uh, it was insane. I could not believe the stuff that he had out there. It, was, it excited everyone. So all of the technical managers have been out to visit now and everybody is super excited about you know, what we can get out of this lab, you know, the kind of people that, that can come from that program. Everything was designed primarily in-house. Some of the larger stuff, the process skids, those started from design on a napkin. Um, we didn't build those, those were actually fabricated um, off-site by another industri industry partner. Um, everything else was either built in-house by myself, fellow faculty members, we had work studies that were involved. Um, so there was a lot of different people involved. A lot of the equipment that's in here, Fisher valves, Rosemont, um, micromotion meters, all that type of stuff are the tools that we use to uh, monitor and measure our systems. So it may not be to the same scale that we use in our plant, but it gets them a hands-on practice of at least how they work and the premise of what they are. So now when you go from a 10th scale model to a 100th scale model, um, you're not scared of it when you walk in the plant. Again, going the route we did, number one, really allowed us to come up with some sort of system that was truly modular, had kind of unlimited possibilities. We could add to it as needed. Um, we could adapt different hardware, different software solutions, which we've even done over the past two years that we've been around. 
ground. Um, so we've changed that equipment, you know, as we've gotten donations or wanted to upgrade. But yeah, the nice thing about our system we've developed, it's there's really not a definitive set of purposes that it's, it's built for. It's literally, what do you, what do we want to do with this? I mean, a lot of this stuff with the grant um, was ordered knowing that it was scalable. Professor Foley's Wonder Lab is preparing students for big opportunities in the workforce, and his students are seizing the day. I've learned a lot about electrical theory, the programming and operation of PLCs, as well as operator interfaces that go along with those PLCs, and a lot of code uh, as far as like electrical do's and don'ts. Taking on a new team member is always exciting uh, because you know we're, we're a small company, we have small teams, so it's really great to bring in somebody new and learn about that person and, and kind of make them part of the family. Um, what's really great with someone like David is that he comes in with a set of technical skills already, but we don't have to start from ground zero. He's seen it, he's done it. Um, sure, the skills might need some refining, but you know, in general, uh, we can put him to work on day one. I like doing the programming of the PLCs. I'm pretty sure that's what everybody would say because that's the fun part. Uh, you're able to make something happen just by typing it into your computer, and that's awesome to me. I'm interning at General Mills here in Cedar Rapids. I'm in the fruit department, so we make the shapes like the Scooby-Doo snacks, Gushers, fruit roll-ups, and fruit by the foot. What it's like is just uh, whenever there's feeding problems, if it's not homing, maybe the boxes are being crushed, they aren't feeding right, we'll just go over there and we'll tweak with the machines to make sure that they work. There's also, they use the PLCs and the electronical displays to control variables like how fast are things moving, how many counts do they want. Drew and his class all did a good job in, in bringing what they learned here to the plant floor and all of them did a good job or you know came in and wanted to learn as they went. Uh, that's the thing I think is probably the most prominent about what comes out of this class is their willingness to learn when they come into the plant. It's interesting being able to take what I'm learning here and seeing how do they design their displays. Is it similar to what we're being taught here? Yeah, it's, it's kind of similar, it's just they have more statistics. The fact is, is that he's teaching us the basics and I'm kind of getting to see how they're actually implemented over there at General Mills. I can't imagine how much further along I would have been when I started if I'd had that kind of hardware to work with. Um, and uh, Ben is really attentive to what we need and what kind of things we're looking for. He's always asking us questions. We're more than happy to help him. It excites everybody. Um, we get to help people that are starting out, you know, and, and also hopefully hire people out of that program. So it's, it's great. It's a great lab.